And we are recording. It's time for Clubhouse Cheddar. Here's Normor Dez. That's right. Got a little bit of housekeeping to do here. So, Linfield College Wildcats, they went down to Benton, Texas on Saturday to defeat the number two Mary Harden Baylor crew, 31 to 28. And so, for those of you who don't know, we had an incident here a couple weeks ago where Linfield sophomore linebacker Parker Moore was uh, stabbed and killed at the local 7 Eleven. So, Linfield is playing for Parker. They're in the Division Three National Football Tournament, and so they head outside of Pennsylvania, or Philadelphia, I believe, to take on the Widener Pride this weekend. Brian, I like their chances. I do, too. They look good yesterday, and uh, they're on a roll, and uh, you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs. Absolutely. Speaking of football, my first guest today is the man, the myth, and the legend from Kimberly, Idaho. Man, can you believe, Gordy, it's been almost 30 years since we played for Kimberly High School? 30 years. Norm, that's, that's, that's completely amazing. Isn't it? Amazing, amazing. 30 years, and we're both still kicking. Oh, I know. I know. But 30 years, man, you know? So Wow. So I have Gordy Schroeder from Smoke and Soldier Productions, and we're going to talk about the Highway 30 Music Fest. And so tell us a little bit about the Highway 30 Music Fest, Gordy. Well, Norm, first thing, you know, we uh, i got to say something. Or, you know, I, I, I keep up on your posts and everything, and um, the young man that died in that stabbing and that bad thing over our hearts have gone out to him, to him and his family and your community, because that's always a bad deal. And I, I think that team is playing for him, and I hope you guys can win that national championship. I, I really do, because... But uh, it's a bad deal, and I hope you guys do well. It is a bad so. deal, and you know they are. They're going to, you know, they got a long road ahead. I mean, the yeah. road, the road eventually runs through Mount Union or Wisconsin Whitewater. And I'll mm-hmm. tell you what, man. As far as dynasties are concerned, those two. I mean, there's none like none other. I mean. At one point, Mountain Union had won like ten Division Three national football titles in a row. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like team, any team can be get, be beaten on any day, Norm. We know that, and and we do know that. We know that. We so. do know that. So, the Highway Thirty Music Fest. So, tell us a little bit about it. Well, I'll tell you what, Norm. Uh, it is it is blown up. It was uh, fabulous last year. You know, we had Mickey and the Motor Cars and Little Texas as their closers last year and uh, 13 other bands. And I'll tell you what, I know this is going to uh, – our, our lineup's better. I mean, we've gone out and just, uh, I mean, people are knocking down our doors and want to come, which is, you know, makes makes us feel really, really good. I mean, we have – actually, Megan's about ready to kill me because, you know, she said – our team's going to be all we could ever do and well you know I had to slip one more in so (laughs) (laughs) so, that's that's awesome so you know I I may I may be in the doghouse a couple days but it's just it's hard to tell some of these guys no you know and uh, what you had on the show Buster Jix is coming back and those guys are flat tearing it up all over Texas and you know the the little Texas guys uh, any they're like anytime we get anywhere near uh, Texas, we want Buster Jigs to come open for us. They do such a phenomenal job. Right. And then we've got uh, we've got the Clumsy Lovers back. Uh, we've got a band called uh, Sons of Bill. Guess what their dad's name is, Norm? Bill. Yeah, it's Bill. It's and now, Bill. But and now, don't okay. they don't they have like aren't weren't they featured on like the show Sons of Anarchy? No, no, that's <laughs> they've had hits all over. I think they've been on some talk shows. But you no, know, Sands of Ar- Anarchy is Jeff Crosby in the Refugees. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, he is actually an Idaho bred boy out of the McCall area and took off, went down, and has done very well. But yeah, he was on season six. Nice. I uh, had some of his songs on there, and I mean, very well known, does a great job. He wanted in last year and couldn't get him <laughs> I couldn't get him in you know and uh, anyway he's like okay well I'm in next year so he's in and then we've got some local favorites a band called Dirty Johnny there's some local guys uh, they've been opening up um, they've been opening a lot of Harley Davidson's all over the country and they'd be big 
except they've got families, they're from Idaho, and they don't want to travel that much. Right. But they've, op- they've opened for Great White, uh, and then they opened just recently for Count 77, the guy off of, uh, well, he's got his own Count's Cars, his own show now, mm-hmm. you know, and down out of Vegas. And so we've got them, um, Rebel Raised, Aces Up, uh, man, the list, the list is just, it, it's deep. I mean, it's deep in it. A new band that we brought up uh, out of Texas again, uh, Midnight River Choir. You know, you're just you're gonna you're gonna dig them beyond dig them. You know, and like I say, Rebel Raised is back. George Devore, and who knows what he's gonna be packing. He'll have a band and stuff. And a couple of Sweet Country Airs, Mark Williams band. Uh, like I say, Jeff Crosby and the Refugees Aces up the Clumsy Lovers. And I wish you could have seen, and I think you've seen them, because they used to travel through Idaho. They're from all over the country, and they called me and flat said, Gordy, we want in. Nice. You know, we absolutely, we want in, we want to do it, and I are back in. And I said, hi, <laughs> you know, love to have you. So, I mean, our lineups are just, I mean, it, it, it is slam-packed. We did a pre-sale on tickets, uh, and you know what, and just the holidays we're going to extend it another week uh we're doing a, a, a megan called it like a white friday or something mm-hmm. and selling a ton of tickets and we did a deal and we're going to extend that where if somebody wanted to buy tickets at regular price because uh tickets on the white friday are uh two days for fifty dollars then if you buy the regular price it's going to be sixty dollars for two days we're going to throw ten bucks uh towards kids that need a christmas nice so you know we and we've got a lot of people jump on board to do that then we've got our VIP packages again that get you all kinds of good swag and stuff. Uh, thanks to uh, our buddy Mark over there around your area, always yeah. taking care of us on T-shirts and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, he's he's going to be back in. And I mean, our sponsors, uh, Rob Green Buick GMC, Rob Green Auto Group, they've come on huge again. We're going to have a great big executive lounge trailer there. And they've stepped up. Farmers National Bank. Uh, I mean, and the list goes on and on again. That, or um, you know, I mean, it's just our sponsors are back in and they're taking care of us. Budweiser's back taking care of us, you know. And I mean, it, it's just great. And I mean, we're so blessed. And uh, everybody's buying tickets, and I haven't even announced either of the closers yet. And uh, I might accidentally slip one out tonight. One I can't release until after the first of the year, just to, due to their. Uh, contracting and stuff but one accidentally might get leaked out uh, uh you know but i mean uh it's things are amazing 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 and like i say you, now you're coming this year right if i mean i know last year uh you know there was some family things yep. and but uh I need to get you out here. Yep, Brian, producer Brian and I, we are we are talking about it. We are talking about coming out. So, and I, I well, know you, Mark will come out, and uh, yeah, the plan is to be there. So, well, you know, you know, you know, we'll take darn good care of you, and uh, lots of good barley pops, and we'll have to go down. Uh, we'll have to order lunch from Papa Kelsey's or something because I mean, you got to show Brian and you know uh, all about that. I mean, Papa Kelsey's. We we eat it about once a week, it seems like. So, you know. Uh, well, I, I eat there. I eat there every day in my mind. I always, I always have a. You know, I, I kind of split it up between the pizza sub and the Italian combo. But uh, oh, but, I, I had an Italian combo a week ago, Norm. But you know uh, me, I, I've got to throw some pineapple on it. That's just yep. I'm weird like that. And I've got to throw the pineapple on it, and the, and the way you go. But I mean, it's 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 just. Uh, it's just awesome. And, uh, so for no, those just, for those of you who don't know, Papa Kelsey, so Gordy and I grew up in Kimberly, Idaho, a small town of at the time it was about 2,300, and it pretty much was a one-horse town. Well, it was a three-horse town with Gordy there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, one Papa... Stop light. <laughs> one stoplight. One stoplight, stop like four or five bars and a couple of grocery stores. I mean, it was a great place to grow up. Um, you know, and I, I look back at that time and... Man, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Kimberly, Idaho, was a great place to grow up. Well, and you know the thing, Norm. You know, I, it, they talk about Texas football and things have changed and stuff. But the coolest thing about Kimberly back in that day, on Friday night, everybody thing closed down, and everybody from Kimberly was at the football game. Stadium would be you packed. Know, it was packed. Yep. Packed, you know, and I mean that was just, and you knew. 
when we were little kids, we knew all the upperclassmen, and, and it's just kind of funny. Rocky Eller was in the other day, brought his, his son in, who's six four and his baby now, you know, and and he's playing for Twin and. Uh, they were playing baseball and they were selling oranges and grapefruit and came in and saw me and so I had to, you know, buy some stuff from him. But it's just, you know, that that's still, that commander, you know, we were classmates, we were bulldogs, and yep. that still lives on. And that is the neatest, neatest thing. You know, and that's like in the music industry, same thing. And that's why, and I love those guys. And, you know, you, you've talked to the, you know, the motor car boys, you've talked to Reckless, you, you've dealt with those guys. And that's the way it is in the true, you know, and I'm going to say that the true music industry, you know, the Texas music scene, these, you know, the Red Dirt stuff, these guys who are, you know, hitting it hard every day, writing their own stuff, hitting the road, you know, and, and playing the music they're writing because they love the music. The same reason, you know, a lot of these, you know, uh, I won't get into those who don't, but the true ball players that are yep. playing for the love of the game. You know, they're not playing because they're getting millions and millions of dollars. They're playing because they love the game and they still care. It's just like Brady. I watched him, you know, he had no chance to go out and be my Packers tonight. I mean, they got the first down and he was because he's a competitor. Right. He's a competitor and he wants to go win. You know, and to me, that's going, you know, these guys, you know, don't really care. Just pay me a big contract. But, you know, to see those guys who want to go out and play the game because they love the game. And, and to me, that's what it's all about. You know, it's like the music. And that's, you know, me and Megan. That's why we put on these, you know, we put on these concerts and festivals is because we love music and we want to bring great music to Idaho and make it very affordable. Right. You know, and that's what we do and we love it. And like I say, we're going to keep doing it till I can't do it any longer, and then my kids will take it over. So there you go. You know, there you go. So, so where Highway Music for Thirty Fifth? Where will it be? Where's Where's the uh, the it, venue? Uh, it, it's going to be at the Fire Fairgrounds again, and it's not in the arena. It's in the grassy area. Um, there's a caboose with a beautiful stage built in front of it, and we bring my sound guys in from. Uh, the same sound guys that the Brom Brother Reunion has. They bring sound up from Salt Lake, and then my buddy out of Craig out of uh, Ketchum, uh, you know, area. He brings down his light guys and his stuff, and, and away we go. And like I say, it's a grassy area. Kids 12 and under free. We're going to have the bounce houses back, a climbing wall, coloring books for the kids, you know, adult beverages for the adults, good food, good eats, uh, coffee drinks, you know, all that good stuff. And I mean, it's, so it's uh, right off Highway 30 at the old Twin Falls County Fairgrounds, you know, where me and you spent a lot of time as kids. A lot, know, of, a lot of time. Carnival, a lot of carnivals, rodeos, and animals, and, you know, all that good stuff. So, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's right off Highway 30. And, I mean, it's just a great place to have it. Um, Shiloh Inn, once again, is uh, on board, uh, you know, helping us do rims, and we'll be doing shuttles back and forth from those from, uh, you know, Rob Green's going to do some more shuttles again. Nice. And, like I say, uh, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's, it's just excellent, excellent, excellent. So I uh, can't say enough about it. Very, very excited, Norm. And we're going to keep doing the pre-sale tickets another week. Uh, try to raise a little bit of money for the kids and uh, go from there. But, yeah. The life, life is great. Life is outstanding. Good, good. And hey, I gotta say it on air because really I'm gonna. Congratulations, and you know it's kind of nice. I'll never forget your wife's name either. <laughs> you know, it's good because a lot of my buddies are marrying Megs. That's awesome. Megs, so, so it's nice for me because I can go. Oh, wait it's, a minute. Yeah, I easy. got your name. Yeah. You know, so it's, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing, and uh, can't wait to meet her. Uh, we've decided we're gonna come out to the coast at some point. Nice. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to come out and stay and actually uh, maybe just do an in-studio live show. Yeah. Heck yeah. Come up to wine country, and I know I know you guys like your wine. And uh, Oh, yeah. My my wife, you know, uh, I can tell her she's having a good time by the color of her teeth. There you go. There you go. I, I, I'm probably going to get hit from that because, you know, she's been listening with the kids on this stream. So I love you, honey. Don't hit me too hard. <laughs> so where do we go to buy tickets? You can get online at www.hwi30musicfest.com, and then there's a clicker right now, and you 
hit on that and you can scroll it up and down and you can get the tickets. There's VIP packages, a few VIP packages left. We got a lot of people from that year waiting to buy those VIP packages. Yep. And uh, like I say, they love coming over and being taken care of you. We feed you, you get swag. And then the bands have to be in there 45 minutes before their set to do a meet and greet with you. And so, so it's a pretty cool deal. It's a really cool deal. And like I say, we're, uh, we're, uh, the sponsors are coming on board. Every, everything's coming together. We, we, we just, we, we can't say enough of how great it is. So the plan is Clubhouse Chatter to come out. We're going to come out and we're going to do a couple of shows from there. Um, uh, you know, if, if everything works out, last year, of course, um, we had problems with my dad at the time. We almost yeah. lost him a couple of times, so I wasn't yeah. able to make it out. Um, and I, I, yeah, I feel bad, but, you know, I had to take care of business. And uh, so the plan is is we'll be there this year. So um, once again, the website, please www.hwy30musicfest.com and you can get on Facebook and like us please do get on Facebook and like us you know and I'm going to get on with you again here hopefully before too long we'll be giving you know we'll have to do some giveaways and stuff and give away some tickets or something but I definitely want to do that and uh, so are we running short on time? No we're, we're good 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 because uh, you know I just I'm sitting here thinking. Uh, here in a minute, I might have might have to uh, sneak somebody out. But uh, hey, I also know that a couple of these guys that come on uh, have been listening to your deal from last year, and they want to know how they can get on, like Kristen did from Buster Jig. Just just get in touch with me, and we'll set something so, up. Yeah, they 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 definitely they definitely want to jump on board and and uh, and do some things with you because I mean uh, she loved it and and I'll tell you it'll be the cool thing for you is once you come out and do this thing you and you guys are gonna be busy because all these guys travel through your area right you know they're all through there and then you know once you're hooked up you i mean you're hooked up like with my and what did what did you think of your first motor car and reckless show oh. i gotta know oh man i'll you know <laughs> I, i'll tell you what the night it was awesome it was awesome they took good care of us um and Coney, Cody Canada, holy crap. Is, is, he, is he amazing? Does wow. You remember me telling you about Cross Canadian Rag Week? Yes, yes. That was his band. And he and I mean, rocked. The, it, was, it was funny because all three bands yeah. were so different. Yes, you know, very, very, they're, they're, the, they're the same but different. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. saying. They all play their own... But it's not like you're going to go, oh, I don't, you like everybody, but they, they do a different thing. So it's like, you know, and that's, that's like the music fest, same thing. I have every genre of music. I, I, I learned Megan taught me how to say that genre. <laughs> nice. Because I always said a junior or something like right. that. She's looking at me and go, Jesus, redneck. I'm like, well, you know, I am a little bit. Yep. So, uh, Spud Farmer. But uh, anyway, uh, no, it's just, uh, but I wanted to know, did you get a hang, did you get a meet Cody? I, I did not. <sighs> I did not. I, I hung he, out with, I hung out with Mickey and Willie. And you, I'll, didn't drink, I'll, you didn't drink any beer there. I drank. Oh, I drank beer with them. <laughs> I drank beer with them. I'll tell you what. I they're was. Professional, they're professionals in that sport. You know that. It, it was crazy. Beer drinking. They're pros. I was so. It was weird because I was starstruck. You know. I mean, but they were so down to earth. You know, and they made you feel welcome. You know, it, yeah. it's that Idaho hospitality. And well, they are. They're. They're real. They. They are. They are real. And I'll tell you what, Cody Canada came out and the departed, and they set fire to oh, the yeah. Crystal Ballroom. I mean, they put that place on fire. And then they were followed by Mickey and the Motor Cars. And man, it just, I mean, it was just body blow after body blow. They just kept it up. And then Reckless Kelly came out, you know, and kind of mellowed things down. But I mean, but it was, it was weird because they mellowed things down a little bit, but it really wasn't mellow. It was just a big old party. I mean, just great people. Did, did, did they all did they all get up at the end for you? Did they you did. See them all jamming. They did, <laughs> and that was an awesome thing. And because I mean, Mickey would come out and play a little bit with uh, with Cody Canada, and then um, you know, toward the end of you know Mickey's set, you know, 
Willie would come out and, and play, and so the Braun brothers, all of them would be up there. And, man, it was so awesome. I mean, they played hits did they, from... Did they, did they do the Highwaymen? Um, they did not. Oh. They did not. That is that is one when when they when they cover that that's pretty cool because they all take apart right and and that is uh, that is that is pretty cool but yeah you got to see and that's the thing that and it's just like at, at our music fest I mean uh, um, same type things happen you know and last year little Texas calls up all the performers if wow. anybody's still here get up on stage with us. And, uh, you know, Dwayne brought me up in those guys. I'll tell you what, Little Texas is a real deal, Norm. They are down to earth, great guys. And I still talk to them probably twice a month. Nice. And, and, and they help me and whatever I need. And I'll tell you what, that is one band that, you know, they had and they made it. And they did very well, and they don't really need to be out touring and doing, but they just did because they love playing music. Right. And, uh, you know, and they took care of themselves, and they're set up right with great, great guys. And I'll tell you what, when they called up some of these, you know, people were, there were other bands that were starstruck, too. I mean, it was a little Texas. Mm-hmm. And, you know, back in the day, they were the, the stuff, you right. know, and... All of a sudden, everybody's up, and they're doing God Bless Texas, and everybody knows it, and then they change the, the verse to God Bless Idaho, and, you know, and, it, was, and it, was, it was just cool, and it was a party, and then Saturday, I mean, we're just nuts, and you've got, you know, motor car guys jumping on stage with other people, and other people jumped on at the end, and I mean, it was, it was, a, it was, it was a party, and a show, and I mean, people live with their kids, and it, it's just a neat deal. It's a very, very cool and neat deal, and I was I was glad to hear that you got to go see, because, you know, it, there's never two shows that are the same when they do that. Right. And you never know what they're going to do, and if they're all going to get up and do it. I mean, it's spontaneous, mm-hmm. and you can't reproduce it the next night. And so it's it's really cool when they hit like that and do it, and, I, and I'm glad you got to be part of that because it, it's a special experience. It, it really I mean, was. It, I mean, it, it is. So, and and, so and the, my cameraman that went with me, who who recorded the interview, Mark, mm-hmm. um, man, he, he's not a country music fan, and but it really wasn't country. It's not I mean, country, it's it's it's. Kid. I mean, it's it's it's. it's it's a combination of country and rock and blues and I mean it's a little bit of everything but I mean you you name it I mean bluegrass it's all mixed in there it's music he it's music he left when we left the crystal ballroom that night going home he looked at me and he was like he was in awe he was like you know what when you know when you told me that you know, it was these bands, and I did some research on them. I thought they were country, and then after they played, he goes, "Holy crap!" And he ended up buying CDs. And so, yeah, he's you know, new fans. I mean, Cody Canada, man. I mean, watch out; those guys are great. And Mickey and the Motor Cars, they're on the up. And Reckless Kelly, you know, I you know, it amazes me that they haven't hit it bigger than they have. And I you don't know, know, maybe that's by design. I don't know. A little, a little, a little bit, but. Somewhat norm too, and they they really won't. But they've they've set the groundwork for a lot of other great bands who have made it. A lot of other guys, because Reckless Kelly has told Nashville no, right, over and over that we're going to do our own thing, we're going to write our own music, we're going to do this, that, and told them we're not going to go in, and you're not going to tell us what to write. And now it's paved the way. For these other people who are writing their own music, Dirk Bentley, you know, yep. and, and guys like that that have gone on, uh, Eli Youngback, you know, used to open for the motor cars in Reckless Kelly. Um, you know, in these bands that have taken off and blown up now, and I'm saying the good bands, not the rappers. Right, right. But, uh, you know, it's kind of nice. And, and you know what? Yeah, it did. But, you know, you look at the Robert Earl Kings, you look at some of these guys like them that have, are famous, written a ton of songs, and, and you don't, and haven't really hit it, Guy Clark. You know, you can go on and on and name names that haven't really, but they paved the way to a lot of other people that right. have gone on and done it. 
and now they're allowing some of these bands to write their own songs and do their own thing and make it big. So, yeah, in some ways, you know, it's like they took them for their team, you right. know, and, but they, they love it. They do it every day and they hit the road and they, and they're enjoying life. It's like over Thanksgiving down around the Austin area, Muzz is down there with them and they're doing the Braun family Thanksgiving. Right. You know, and, uh, and that's a sight to see. Last, yeah. And, you know, and it's so, yeah, you know, it, it's hard, to, you know, and, and the thing is, I mean, shoot, there's how many, you know, major league big ball players that have Reckless Kelly walkout songs, you know, it's pretty cool. Yep. You know, and, and uh, you know, and they, well, you, you've got to talk to Willie, and I mean, shoot, it was really cool to me, you know, when, when he got to see his beloved team win it all, and he's texting me. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it was cool as cool. And uh, then I heard from him like a day and a half later when he surfaced again. Uh, he said his head really hurt and he was trying to get on a plane. But, you know, all of a sudden, Bammy's down in the locker room and said that was the most incredible thing he's ever seen. Right. You know, and it's just, but those are the kind of guys they are. You know, and a lot of these, it's like a lot of these real true baseball players are great guys. Right. Oh, they're, absolutely. They're approachable. You know, they're not about the money. They're not about the, you know, they're great guys. And, and I've got to meet a few of them when I've been down in Texas and, and things and met some of those guys. And they're great, cool guys, you know, yep. and, and it's nice. It's nice to see people like that because, uh, you know, you have to learn. Know, I've met some real assholes that are famous. <laughs> Absolutely, <you know>? yep. <laughs> and, and, the the A-Rods, like, the A-Rods, oh, you know. Yeah. yeah, the A-Holes, you mean, the A-Holes, <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's nice to see guys who are doing it for the love of the money. And it's just like Robert Earl Keane. If you don't know him, you need to look him up sometime, Norm. He's amazing. And the first time I met him, we had a 45-minute conversation. Nice. And, and and it was the coolest thing. And, you know, like, and there's other guys out there, Stoney LaRue, the same type of thing, came up underneath, you know, friends of uh, Cody Canada's. And, and, I mean, it goes on and on and on, uh, you know, how awesome these guys are. And the things they do, they, they all give back to the community, all of them. Yep. All of them have some kind of charity that they do. You know, it's like the Reckless Kelly's, you know, softball cab. And, and someday me and you need to take our wives and fly down to that thing. Absolutely. That is awesome, and that'd be right up your alley. I've offered to yeah. cover it for I've offered to cover it for them, and, you know, so so one they, of these they, days. Yeah, they, I know they'd let you do it, but, I mean, it's, it's cool as cool, and there's a lot of big-name baseball players there. And, I mean, it's it just it's me what they do. Right. And uh, it's just. It, it's good to be around people like that and that's why like I say we started you know as I got married and had a, you know where we had kids and stuff it just gets harder and harder to hit the road and travel and so that's kind of you know also why we we put the you know the highway 30 together nice and that way you know what if I want to see them I'll just hire them there you go you know? so uh, so it's, it's it's been nice it's been great and uh, I just you know I can't wait I mean this year, like I say, it's bigger and better, and uh, can't wait for you guys to get up here, and we'll have a good time. And it just seems like it's a, a year-round thing. The minute I finish one, I, I started getting ready for the next. Yep. So uh, exciting, exciting stuff. So well, let's let's. Uh, you said you possibly would leak something out. What can you leak well, out? Well, uh, I, I might get in a little trouble about this, but you know, I've been pushed and pushed to get this guy and we almost had something put together last year and, and it's done it's it's in the books it's good to go we're going to wait a little bit but we'll really see how many people are listening because uh, you know my fans have been asking me to get Jason Bolin and the Stragglers out here to Idaho and, and you know what Norm uh, he's been out here his family a couple of times he's played the Brown Brother Reunion uh, which is probably one of the best festivals in the country, from right. the Union. And uh, he's played that, and, and I'll tell you what, I was like, you know, we looked at some others, we had some other things thrown around, made, looked at making some offers, and so I called the guys out of Red 11, and I said, and that's who does uh, uh, making the motor cars, too, so I've dealt with them a little bit, and uh, I said, you know what, 
Um, so, hey, we want to take a shot at these bowls. The strike was like, yeah, we tried last year. And let's, so anyway, we made back forth, back forth. And, and so I called them last, let me think, Thanksgiving was Thursday, right? And I yep. was kind of the time. So I called him on Monday or Tuesday and said, hey, you know, have you heard anything? And he's like, you know what? We're probably not going to hear anything back till after Thanksgiving. I said, all right. And so my phone buzzed on me about an hour later, and it was an email. Looked at it, there it was. <laughs> Sign this and send it back. Done deal. So, uh, yeah, Jason Bullen and the Stragglers, and, and I hope I don't get in a bunch of trouble with this, they will be here uh, June 26th at the Highway 30 Music Fest. Nice. And that is a big, big pickup for this. Jason is probably one of Cody Canada's best friends. Right on. If you, if, if you go to that. So, I mean, you know, him and Jason, and actually, uh, they just, they're going out on a tour here. Jason Bowen and the Stragglers and Cody Kendall will be going with them. They'll be out here in January. So we're going to go up to Stanley and see them up there, and then they're going to come be a, a part of our festival. So I'll I have mean, to check them out when they hit Portland. Yeah, so. you definitely need to. There, you'll you'll dig them, and like I say, you know, uh, he's he's a little more on the country style, That's but right. uh, he does, you know, he kind of does. But once again, you know, it's like he's touring with Cody Canada. Yep. So I mean, it's just they do their own thing and they do a good job of it. So we're very excited, and like I say, he is a. And I'm probably not going to throw it out of my sight yet, but you know what? We're going to see who's out listening. So uh, if you if you're out there listening, guys, you have got some news nobody else has. There you go, right, so, right from right from know, G. Yes, you know. So you don't have to. You know, there's lots of rumors, and that's what I say. You know, everybody's like, so it's, is so and so coming, or is so and so coming? And uh, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, when you hear it from me, you'll know for sure. And it's like Midnight River Choir. A uh, good friend of theirs is from Eugene. Nice. Just right and down the road, flew, yep. And he flew out to see him in Texas and saw a lot of these bands. Well, when he w- went to see them, they said, hey, we're going to be out your way. You know, uh, over in Filer, Idaho at Highway 30 Music Fest. So he actually gets on our sign, throws out a big old... Yeah, it was awesome that you guys did this and can't wait to see him. And all of a sudden, Megan's like, wow, uh, people are already, uh, you know, complimenting on that we uh, have Midnight River Choir. And I go, when did you release them? And she goes, wow, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so I, got a, I sent this guy a personal message, and I'm like, hey, how did you... And he goes, oh, man, I'll, I'll pull my post off. So I go, no, 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 it's no big deal. And I called, you know, I called the guys, and I said, hey, do out front. They go, no, go ahead and release us. We love to because we want to put you on our site. And I'm like, so it was kind of funny, you know, and, and it was really weird because everybody that saw that site, nobody said anything to me, but they all thought they knew something that they <laughs> shouldn't know. So uh, it was just, you know, it was it was kind of... It was kind of it was kind of cool. So you know, it's kind of like this. If you're listening, you've got some news the rest of the country doesn't have. There you go. So uh, it's a you know, it's a neat deal, and and I think we have, and I think we have some listeners who always listen, and yep. and I think she won a t-shirt from you and stuff last year. Yeah, you know, Jennifer. You know, yeah, Jennifer and her husband. Jennifer Nelson is going nuts right now. Yeah, down down there, uh, it, it, yeah, down there in Utah. Yeah, down there in Utah. Yeah, it's what this is one of her favorites. So, so Jennifer, I, I will listening. tell you, we got some new shirts coming out here soon with Clubhouse Chatter. So Jennifer, um, once we get those out, I'll be sending you guys, you and your husband, a shirt. And so, oh, be looking forward to catching up with you at the uh, the Music Fest, June twenty sixth and twenty seventh, two thousand fifteen, at the Filer Fairgrounds. And uh, beautiful Filer Fairgrounds, Definitely. beautiful Southern Idaho. Yeah, beautiful Southern Idaho. And so, Gordy, it's always a pleasure. And uh, Norm, let's do it after yeah. the first of the year when we definitely, you definitely. break the closers. Hey, and I want to I want to throw out another shout out though to uh, uh, a buddy of mine, Keith Carroll, Superior Door. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he, Keith Carroll, Superior Door. They do all the doors and stuff. He was a sponsor last year for us. He jumped back on board, 
uh, sponsoring again. And I just wanted to throw out, you know, a thanks to Keith. His, uh, his gal in his office, Johnny, listens to, to us when we're on here. Nice. So I wanted to, I wanted to give a shout out to them. And then also, you know, we got we got to give a shout out to, you know, the, the best bacon and uh, hot dogs in the country, Falls Brand. Falls Brand. You know, the, the Florence family, Fat Florence Independent Meat, Falls Brand. They're back on board. But uh, anyway, Norm, uh, thank you so much for your time. And you, you guys come on out. You know, I'll take great care of you. You'll yep. be VIP'd. Uh, that you know whatever you want to do you know we've got rooms so we can get and stuff so whatever you guys need and anybody that's listening you get on right now it's still white friday www.hwy30musicfest.com uh silent has got great room rates and i can't believe we're almost all the way through this and you haven't said anything about who won the world series nope you have are, are, are you are well, you surprised one, not one time have you said anything about it. You know, we're here to talk. We're here to talk music, Gordy. We're here to I, talk I know, music. But I know, I can't. I can't believe you know. But uh, congratulations. Why? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Even though George Devore, true old Kansas City fan, about killed him, but you know, uh, it was a great series. It was a great, great series. series. Great series, and congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I guess you'll be getting your picture taken with another trophy. So. Uh, yes, I will. So. Yes, I will. I can't wait to, can't wait to hold that, that third one. <laughs> so there will be pictures. So Well, my, my buddy Gus up in heaven, I know, is uh, uh, Mark McCoy, a huge fan. He used to be with motor cars, biggest Giants fan in the world, and I know he was smiling down on that on that third one. So That's, that's was, pretty it awesome. Was a, it was a good day. It was a good day. All right, G. Well, once again, always a pleasure. And, uh, you know, we'll get you on after the first of the year and talk about it again. Okay. Take care, buddy. All right. Thanks for everything. Hey, thanks a lot. You bet. Bye. Bye. Once again, Gordy Schroeder with Highway 30 Music Fest, June 26th, 27th, 2015 in beautiful Filer, Idaho. We are sponsored by... Mark Canham, he was mentioned, MDM Designs. He does the Highway 30 Music Fest shirts and the 980 Know-It-All shirts. Um, Based by Pros, his uh, son, Mitch Canham. Um, let's see who else we got. BaseballDudes.com and uh, BaseballIsm.com. Go check out their site, BaseballIsm.com, and throw in uh, Clubhouse Chatter and get 30% off, I believe. Or is it 20% off? Crap, I can't remember. It's been a while. And uh, Proper Cuts Barbershop, Carlos and the Boys, and we stream live all the time on yamhilltoday.com. Brian and I will take a short break, and we will be back. <laughs> 